Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope you enjoyed today's intro. Um, today is November the 11th and I'm just paying a little bit of a tribute to um, in the video, uh, my family, my husband, his family, and I wanted to give a big thank you out to all of those people wearing a uniform today from the past, from the present, and onward. So we've made so, so many amazing friends through our years of being in the military. My husband was military for 25 years until he had a stroke and he couldn't be in the military anymore. So I just want to say thank you to everybody out there and today's video is a tribute for that we are going to carry on with these lovely things <laughs> but we're going to do one different so the first one i did with the arteza paint over top the second one i did was with the oil-based paint pen now the third one I'm gonna do is totally different. I'm using all the same colors. My husband said I should change the color and I went no 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 no. It's gonna be like camo <laughs> with poppies on it. So this is what's in my brain. Um, I've seen people using um, wax. So this is, I'm sorry it's gonna be loud. I should have had it open beforehand. These are wax sticks. It's not glue and um, they fit in my larger glue gun. So we are gonna do the same base coat and we're gonna do this after. And then we're gonna add some of Laura's amazing glitters in the middle of the poppies that I'm gonna create. So with that, I'm gonna get out of my amazing red jacket and get my stuff together and we're gonna do our tribute Remembrance Day painting. So I'll be right back guys. Hello, before we get into doing the paint on this canvas, I wanted to show you how I finished these. I think they turned out freaking amazing for a dollar store, $4.25 candle. Now some of them aren't the best smelling, but I thought because I loved this, um, the container it's in, once the candle is done, you've got such a cute little trinket box or whatever. But I'm a little weird. I, this thing popped up on Facebook and I'm gonna show you what I did. Okay, you ready? This is a stamp. This is too funny. I don't know if it's vain or not, but I think it's hilarious. Look at what I bought. <laughs> so. I have always stamped my canvases with a, it was right here, probably took it upstairs. Oh, here it is. This is what I've always used. It's my name. That's how I always, I did that on the back of my canvases and I signed them. But I seen this and went, oh my goodness. So if I can figure out, I will link it in the description box. I thought it was just the cutest thing ever. It's kind of creepy all at the same time. <laughs> a stamp of yourself. But I thought that's cute. So what I did, I have these cork for when I'm doing my um, tiled coasters. So these go on the back. So in my little brain, I went, oh my goodness. These were like this on the bottom. So this is what I did. So. I don't know, which do you like better, with my face or plain? <laughs> and I thought it was cute because it gives it some cushion depending on where you're putting it, right? So anyways, I just had to show and tell that because I thought it was kind of cute. So with that, I'm going to um, put you on pause. I'm going to get rid of all my stuff that I just put out in my way. And then I'm going to grab my blow dryer. I've got my paints and we're going to get right into the layering this canvas. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. So these are the paints we're gonna use. They are the same colors I had, but I was running out of this dark one. So I pulled out this one and what was the other one I pulled out? This one. So we have Artist Loft Deep Green with, there's two different types in here. So this is a combination and then Liquid X Basics Hooker's Green. 
I have Modern Masters Metallic Green Apple. I have Deco Arts Metallic, sorry, Festive Green. I have Artist Loft's Metallic Leaf Green. I also added the Folk Art Thicket, Thicket Bisque with iridescent medium. I not, might not be saying that right, but it is what it is, my friends. And this is a really dark, this is um, Tri Arts. It's Verdane Hue. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and I will be corrected. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that. So they are my Dutch Pour Mix. I will link at the end of the video where you see um, I post a bunch of little videos to click on. I will link my Dutch pour mix. So it's Floetrol water and paint. And that is in there. So we're just gonna do as I did before. We're just gonna slap on a bunch of paint and blow dry it out, my friends. Ooh. We're just gonna minus the hair. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is so funny. And it's stuck in the paint. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to slather on. Just. And we just want enough. And it, it'll probably blow easier without the glue on there, I'm thinking, in my head. Let's get some of this dark in here. And this is the one that gave the gold. So this is that with the gold hue. And I'm going to have to pour it because my lid is clogged. I'm going to have to refill some of these. Come on. Because this is the one that brought in that nice gold effect, which is now empty. And we'll get in this Modern Masters. It's kind of nice to have the lighter at the top. And then my, my mixed combo of the, oh, I forgot this one's not working either. This is the deep green and the hookers green combo. And again, this is a lot of paint, so it is what it is, but I need to put a lot at the base so I can make sure it gets blown up. Let's put a little more of this one down here. Oh, geez Louise. I don't know if you've seen that. All right. Thanks again, Sandra. This is my Drew Barrymore gift that I was given by a friend, co-worker, and I'm going to use this to blow it out. Here we go, my friends. you're watching but I'm trying to make sure that I've got enough to go over my edges because I learned that with the first one that you need to make sure your edges are covered and some of these are transparent so you want to make sure that you've got a good base on that so I'm just trying to get what I got going on here and I'm gonna work my way up here we go guys Oh, 
общие истории. Amazing. Does it not look like camo? I think it looks like army camo. So that is why I chose to keep with the same color for today. But we will play again with this and it will be with something different colors. Pardon my head if I get in there. You get a look at my hair for the last time. I'm getting it done tomorrow. I am so excited. Pardon my head. I just want to make sure it's all done and give it a scrape because you don't want your amazing. This is pretty as is my friends. Look at that. There we go. So now I'm going to set my blow dryer, even though it's going to be a fan. <laughs> I always put my fan on this so it helps um, dry quicker and so we can proceed to the next step. I think this is so cool. Oh, it's my, oh my gosh, Sherry, you gotta get ready for work. And look, my, even my phone case matches today. All right, so I'm gonna put you on hold and I'll see you guys in a few seconds when this is dry. See you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. This is dried, I am so impressed with this this is actually just beautiful <laughs> exactly the way it is i hate to put something on it because it i'm impressed with this one so anyways back to the task at hand i have um all i do with these is i go into the google bar on my computer and i typed in poppies coloring picture kind of thing and this is what it came up with i had a few versions i had this one this one's gorgeous but i thought i'd try this one it might be too intricate so what i did is i traced out like this you can see it's all traced and then i added these two so i just basically took these two ones brought them back down or actually this one and this one and just built a picture to make it big enough. So again, like in the other ones, the, um, I'm just gonna bring over what I have here. This is the tracing paper. It is huge. I got this from Michaels, I'm 100%. Guys, this is probably two decades old almost. So I'm 100% sure it came from Michaels. And also I was using my light board this is awesome. I don't have the plug in right now, but it brings up everything that you can see so good. It is in my other video. So if you want to take a peek at it lit up. So let's get into this, the task at hand. So I'm going to tape this down just to make sure that it is going to stay while we're tracing. And the other reason why I liked doing it on just the plain canvas was because you can see what you're doing um this color is so dark i had a hard time i did some i just did a little test with the black you can't see the black tracing paper so i have um once i get this all taped down i'll show you what i have i'm kind of even it out i want to make sure there's the same and if you know me by now i ob eyeball everything And tape down here and we'll just do a little and a little there we go nothing too extravagant so I purchased I've showed this before this is what I've got off of Amazon it's tracing paper but it is different colors 
there's red, there's blue, there's green, there's white, there's black. So I tried the black, you couldn't see it. So I pulled out the white and I tried the white one other time, but I think I had it the wrong way, <laughs> which is funny. Typical for Sherry. So we're gonna get out our pen. And of course it has to be blingy. I like to trace with the pen so I can see where I've done. So when you're doing the tracing paper, one side feels waxy, the other one is smooth. So you want to put the waxy side down and let's get it in there. Get in there, go into where you want to be. And I may have taped it just a little too much. <laughs> get in there. Isn't that funny? Take this one off. There we go. Because you want it to go there. And then I can just pull it up. <clears throat> Actually, I'll put the tape here. All right. And here we go. I'm just going to follow the yellow brick road. Follow all the lines. What I'm going to do is all I'm doing is tracing. So what I'm going to do is put you on pause for one second and then I'll fast forward me tracing it on so you're not getting bored. Okay, I'll be back in just a sec, guys. Okay, tracing is all done and I'm impressed. You can see it which is a good thing. I'm just gonna move my tracing papers out of the way. And here we go. Here, let me get my pen to the road. So, again, I have these. This is the difference between this one and the other two. I'm using wax. So this is like a wax seal. I purchased them off of Amazon. They are ex a little pricey. They're not just normal glue. So they are a little more expensive. So you don't have to purchase them, but I just wanted to try a different method. So I've already got my glue gun. It is ready to go. And this is what it comes out as. It's kind of neat. So I'm gonna put another stick in here. I had to cut my other glue out to put this in. So we'll see. Cross your eyes, your fingers, and your nose. Just don't cross your, yeah, fingers, toes, and nose, not your eyes, because you want to see. <laughs> so here we go. I'm just going to follow. I don't know if you can see them, how the white, you can see the white. I'm hoping you can see the white. So now I'm just going to outline everything that I just did. But I want to be mindful. I want this to come in the front. Um, you want the ones at the back first. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's go here. I'm hoping this works, guys. All right. Ooh, it looks really runny, so we'll see. Oh, and I can move this one. Very awesome. Oh, this is going to be a learning curve. Oh my, what is going on? It is all coming in here. I don't know if you can see that. We'll see. We're going to try. Actually, you know what? Let me do the flowers first. This is hard. I 
doesn't come out until you fully pump. Oh my. might be more difficult than I expected. Because I'm not getting anything until I get right to the end of this. This is weird. jammed it or something. Let me get my little... I don't know if you can see. It's gone all wonky in here. I don't know. I wonder. I don't know. We're going to keep going. not even coming out. Oh, I hope I didn't ruin my glue gun. Maybe I need to push it through this other one. Let me just... All right, here we go. Hopefully this is right. Perfect. Okay. I think because I had it sitting, it was all um, jammed in there. So let's go. We'll try another one up here. I hope I'm not in your road. This is more difficult than it, I thought it would be. Okay, I'll try the other flower.
and everything's a learning curve, right? Different material. So you have to learn a different way. I don't have to worry about the um, the strings from the glue. But this is a different learning curve, my friends. may not be doing these any justice. I don't know. All right, let's get the other flower. It's weird because it doesn't come out and then all of a sudden there's a blob. So it's one of these definite working curve. the trigger on this it's kind of hard to <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's get these little buds. <laughs> and I'm not going to go too intricate with the buds. I'm just going to color in the bottom here and then just outline it.
not good. I'm not impressed with this at all. <laughs> and it's taken three times as long as it would normally. Okay, let's get this. I'm jumping from side to side. Sorry, guys. Kind of move fast, I guess, instead of. <laughs> All right. And it is dry, like it's it's wax, right? So. All right, let's get this. Ah! Let's get this little bud. Not like the glue where you can kind of thin it out. Let's go here. And then the stem for this one. I wonder if that's easier just to push the the glue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get this bud. Color that in. Oh, I'm not sure. All right. Let's get this stem. This way again, so I can get this. Okay. 
I don't even see my hand shaking. What is with that? Sure, guys. <clears throat> very wiggly lines and I'm going to come this way flipping it around so I can get out this side So that's the leaves there. Let's get these leaves. And then I got a flower and <sighs> it's a hot mess. Usually have pretty steady hands. This is pretty bad today. <clears throat> That one aren't that bad. All right, let's get this other flower leaf here.
It doesn't lay like the glue where you can kind of make a little bit of a line. What a mess. Oh, okay. So let's get this little leaf here. Horrible. I'm going to put one more in just so it clicks. <sighs> okay. So this one I'm going to do in the back. I'm just going to go over it. At this stage of the game. I'm going to bring this one down. What a mess. All right, to bring this stem over here. bad it's just ugh, a little disappointed okay let's get this stem down and then I'll do that flower but <clears throat> and then this flower and then we are done I'm, I'm gonna bring it this way again sorry guys keep flipping you around Just... 
there. I think, <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's a hot mess, my friends. Okay, that's it. I'm tearing this glue gun off and I hope, let me pull this out. I hope I didn't ruin my, my glue gun. I don't know if you can see what's in there. Hmm. Anyway, so that's going to go off. I am going to put you on pause because I'm going to mix up some of Laura's glitters and I'm going to put red glitter in all of these little flowers and then we're going to call it a day. I'll be right back guys. Okay, we are back. I have, being that they're black in the centers, I have taken, these are some of my crystals I have. I have some black ones. So I put three in each. They're not in there yet, but I'm just setting them in there to see what they look like. And I have some of Laura's Art Corner. This one is Fire Engine Red Glitter. And we're going to put that in there. I thought I had a different one too. I thought I had a, a chunky, uh, a finer one. Let me just take one to a second peek. I thought I had one that was something about lips, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's a little thicker. I don't know which one. This is more red. This is more orange. So we're going to do that one. So we are doing... This one is Juicy Red Lips Glitter. Okay, I'm putting it in this. I'm using my DuraClear Gloss Varnish. We're gonna pour it in here. I'm gonna add the glitter and we're just gonna let it go inside of these, okay. see where this takes us and I've got just a little bit of a paintbrush this is going to dry clear so I'm just going to start putting well we might need more glitter because there's a lot of empty spaces in there Maybe I'll do both. Let me put another. I'm going to put a scoop of the other one in there as well. So we're doing both. Oh, this one's got some fine mixed. I should have used that one. Oh, well. Now we're going to mix it up again. Just like a paste. And it's gonna, perfect, all right, let me just. Perfect. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna work from this way down. So I'm gonna take these beads out. So I'm gonna set them all here. And as the, as I get into this part, I'm going to put those beads on top. And I'm just spreading out.
And it's nice that it's waxed because it brushes right down in. Does that make sense? It kind of runs off. If I get it on the gold, I can push it right down. in there and I can see a couple spots here that I might want to there and let's see if we can get our beads in there there. now I'm gonna proceed <clears throat> and yes I could have put Mod Podge on here and sprinkled all the glitter on but you know Sherry likes to do things different I may have to add a little more of this in there because it's a little thick to maneuver. So let me just and again, I'm not worried about getting it on the gold because I can brush it off. Let's see. It's almost, let me pour a little in there. That might be worth a try. Let's see. And I'm just taking it to the edge. And then I can reveal that gold line. Ah, there we go. tapping it down you can see where you're missing glitter so you can move it around I 
I'm just gonna do what I did there and plop some in. It'll go all around and then I can come back and wipe off that line. Perfect. I'm going to put my three beads in the center. Perfect. So I'm not going to put you through the torture. I will put you on pause for one second. I will do the rest, but I will fast forward so that you're not being tortured. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so that is all done. I hope you didn't mind me fast forwarding. I just, I found it was like, that's gonna be so pretty. I think it saved the day because I do not like how the rest of this looks. I could be ambitious and put like green in here, but I want it to be just red, pop for the poppies. So with that, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go to work. I don't wanna go to work. I'd rather stay and play. I've been off for four days, so it's kind of weird to go back after four days. So with that, my friends, I'll see you when this is dry. See you in a bit, guys. Hello, I'm back. It's dry. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? That turned out gorgeous. This, I don't know. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm glad I put the glitter because it saved it. Um, yeah, so out of all these three things, I don't know, this one, it might be good for something different or maybe use it better, but I don't know if it ruined my glue gun. Do you see all that wax in there? So I may have to try and pry that out. But anyways, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to put it on my shelf behind me and compare it to the other ones and we'll be right back, guys. There we go, my friends. So we have the original with the glue and the paint. Then we have the second one with the gold leaf pen and then the wax. I'm thinking my personal favorite is this one. I might not like the flower in it because this one I think is more detailed than that one. So it looks a little better, but yeah, but here we're going to come in for a close up with this one here because it's beautiful. And that Laura's glitter. And I just love how the back turned out even before I painted it. It was almost a shame to paint it. <laughs> so there you go, my amazing people. I hope you liked my tribute to um, our military. Um, today is Remembrance Day. And like I said before, my husband has been, you know, 25 years in the military. Um, we've made many, many friends over the decades. And just, I enjoyed the lifestyle, but I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. So with that being said, um, everything I use today is in the description box. And um, I'm going to go through my little spiel. So with that, I have the links to where to purchase TriArt Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase um, molds and shapes molds. I have the link to where to purchase Julie Cuts mold. I have the links um, and a discount code for Let's Resin. My discount code is SherryM10. And make sure you use that link because there's only one store that you can use the, the discount code in. Um, the other ones are Crystal Resin, and my discount code for Crystal Resin is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. And my two amazing Lores distributors, I have um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website, and my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 5, or sorry, Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru and the glitters from today. Um, my discount code for Laura is Sherry Molten 
I always forget to say that percent. There's a percent sign at the end of my discount code for Laura. <laughs> so with that, my amazing people, I have my Amazon affiliate um, links and also my PayPal if you choose to help my support my channel. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.